I knew I was in for an adventure, but didn't know what. It's just me, Ali, and our horses. Today is the beginning of a wild adventure. I am embarking on a 48 hour horse trek through the mountains of Kyrgyzstan. But, 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 the trick is, this is my first time ever riding a horse. Yep, this is the first time I'm jumping on a saddle and I have no idea what I'm doing. Luckily, I do have a guide named Ali who is gonna help guide me through the mountains so I don't get lost, but I know that I'm in for quite the adventure, but I'm excited to see how it goes. So I'm just getting my first lesson here of how to ride a horse. I've learned faster, stop, left and right. That should be most of what I need. Hopefully this guy goes easy on me. Taking my first steps on my horse ever here in the mountains of Kyrgyzstan. We're here horse trekking through the mountains of Kyrgyzstan. Got two days on this guy. We wait, so I'm getting a little lesson on how to tell the horse to go faster because uh, my guy's not moving too much. All right, so I'm uh, getting some help to go down the hill here because uh, my horse is being a little stubborn and uh, doesn't really want to move. Luckily, I have my guide Ali who is literally helping to pull me along. All right, so we are off the path here and the horses are getting a little bite to eat and we are just one with the mountains in the middle of nature. My guy's running now. <laughs> All right, so we're at our first river crossing here. This is, mind you, my first day riding a horse and we're crossing a river. Whoa. But uh, first they're getting some water before we cross. And we're off. It's so peaceful here. The only sound that you can hear is the horses walking and our bags on our back. And, oh wow. Now you have a huge stampede of horses. So we have about 20 minutes left on our horse ride for day one and it has been a pretty good day overall. Really, really beautiful scenery, and my guy's been quite friendly to me. All right, so we've made it to our yurt camp here in the mountains after one day of trekking on our horse, and now it's time to get off the horse for the first time. Earlier this morning, I got on for the first time, and. Now I have to get off. 
just like this. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> so Ali is just helping me tie up the horses and fix their saddles a little bit. But it feels really good to be done for the day. It was a really good first day, but not the most comfortable thing I could have done. So after one day of trekking, we are staying here in a yurt tonight. It looks something like this. And I'll give you guys a little tour of the inside. So it's a little bit dark, but you just have a circular yurt. I have a little bed here with some blankets because it gets really cold at night here in the mountains. And then we just have a bunch of carpet. And then I think this might be a little heater for me to start a fire, but what an incredible first day this has been. I'm gonna get settled here in the yurt and walk around the area a little bit. So the bathroom is separate from the yurts and the living quarter. I don't think there's a shower, at least not one that I'm aware of, but I will show you guys what the bathroom looks like because who doesn't like a good bathroom tour? <laughs> It'll be quick. So here we have it. And then inside you have a hole to do your business. And that is it. That's the bathroom tour. Here at the yurt camp in the middle of the mountains in Kyrgyzstan, and I am witnessing the owners of the yurt camp actually milk the horse. First, they actually let the baby horse come and get its share of milk and then they milk the horse into a bucket because they often ferment it and make it into a drink called kumus, which can get you tipsy or drunk if you drink too much, but it is really cool, really interesting to see how they do it. I've never seen a horse get milked before and it's a really unique experience up here in the mountains. dinner time and I am sitting at the table here curious what is for dinner <laughs> salam <laughs> naan naan arbus arbus chai chai kumus kumus dim dim ma dim di da dim dama dim dama <laughs> this one is so hard to remember <laughs> Dim Dama. Hey. Dim Dama. <laughs> All right, so this is my first time trying horse milk. Kumus? Kumus, Kumus. Kumus. Horse milk, Kumus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes? <laughs> Sour. <laughs> it tastes uh, very interesting. Sour. <laughs> yeah. So for dinner we had cabbage and potatoes, of course we had tea, or as they call it here, chai, and for the very first time I had fermented horse milk, or as it is called in Kyrgyzstan, kumus. And I learned it is fermented for one day and then you drink it. I asked for just a little and I got a full bowl. I did try my best to finish it, but I am lactose intolerant, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, we have a beautiful sunset here and I'm gonna go to bed shortly, but I will catch up with you guys tomorrow for day two of our horse trek through the mountains of Kyrgyzstan. So it is the start of day two, and we are hopping back on the horses, fixing the saddle. He makes it look so easy. Nasvidanya. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs>
<laughs> it's a beautiful crisp morning on day two and we got a long horse trek ahead of us but the end is going to be worth it so i'm about 30 minutes in to the trek on day two and i just want to say that yesterday was such an amazing experience you know, even when you can't speak the local language and you can't communicate with someone, kindness is universal. And getting to know the family that lived in that yurt camp and communicating with them as I could was a really, really cool experience and something that I was hoping for on this uh, trek here to learn about other cultures and experience another way of life. We're at a little standstill. We've been climbing up the mountains, but we have to go up this giant mountain with our horses all the way up there. And supposedly this is the good path, the safer path. But uh, at least for me, it's been uh, quite scary to be honest. Some really steep ups and downs, little edges where if the horse makes one wrong step, well, yeah. Gotta keep going up. Not exactly what I expected for day two, but uh, I knew I was in for an adventure, but didn't know what. This view though is incredible. It's just me, Ali, and our horses. After day one yesterday, I was pretty confident riding the horse, but today, today is a whole nother ball game. We are scaling mountains and there are so many times I wanted to film and show you guys what it was like, but honestly, I was holding on for dear life to the horse and my grip, my fingers, they are hurting. We are climbing up the mountains. Look at this incredible view. We've come from that valley all the way down there. And uh, we can see our final destination. Our final destination today is Songko Lake. It's here in the distance. But uh, as you can see, you still have a bunch of mountains and valleys to climb and descend. It's gonna be quite the day. Wow, this is crazy. So we've made it down into the valley and there's just a herd of hundreds of sheep. So we've been riding in the valley for a little bit now, which has been nice. A good little break from climbing the mountains and we have another incredible view of Sonko Lake, which is where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. And now we go down more. Thank you very much, Ali. Uh, <laughs> About three hours later, I've made it here to camp for the night. Again, I'm staying in a yurt camp, but it is on a beautiful lake. If you can see in the distance, it is called Songko Lake. Hello. Hello. I have walked about 20 minutes away from my yurt to the beautiful Songko Lake. There is no one else around. It is so peaceful and the mountains with snow in the background. It's so beautiful. Behind me, here at Songko Lake, there are just tons of cows and horses drinking from the lake, getting rehydrated, and it's just so peaceful. Unfortunately, this marks the end of my 48-hour horse trek 
through the Kyrgyz mountains. And what an adventure it's been. Riding a horse for the first time and experiencing some incredible landscapes and a new way of life with friendly locals. So with that being said, I'm going to end the video here for today, but I hope you guys enjoyed following along this wild adventure with me. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, and of course, if you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you guys.